for Talking Sports right here at Channels TV Sports Centre in Lagos, Nigeria. We're taking a look at 57 years of sports in the country. Table tennis is one sport that is doing so well. In the last four years, uh, table tennis has been experiencing tremendous growth. And we have players that are doing so well on the continent and also in international competitions. Uh, back in the day, Nigeria has produced world champions in table tennis. The name Aton de Musa comes to mind. There's also uh, Yomi Bankole, who's been there, done that for table tennis. Uh, Cecilia Ariye, Bosse Kafo, uh, still talking about the women, even till now. She started her table tennis career a very long time ago, I think 1988, but Olufunke or Shonaike is still prominence with table tennis in the country. Let's go to our base in Hamburg, Germany. Olufunke Oshanaike joins us now live on the program. So take a look at, at the journey so far for table tennis in Nigeria and how we can keep making it admirable. Good evening, champion. Welcome to the program. Hi, Austin. Thanks for having me. That's right. We're still celebrating 57 years of independence. Uh, we've called it 57 years of sports. And Funke, I mean... You've been there, done that with table tennis in Nigeria. Uh, when you look back the years, how far has table tennis come? Oh, God, if I have to remember the way it used to be. <laughs> that was fun back then. If I could remember actually having to see all table tennis board on the streets of Lagos. You know, back then during the 80s and the 90s, you know, for me, it, I used to think table tennis is like um, football because back then you can play football outside and table tennis you can actually play outside. It was actually, actually, actually fun. But I think a little, some things have changed, but I know one thing for sure that we'll get there one day. <laughs> okay, just some things have changed. What changed? What changed a lot? I remember back then we used to have a lot of sponsors. You know, we have a lot of, a lot of, corporate bodies that were sponsoring table tennis. I could remember too that we used to have like um, up to 10 competitions in a year. We have like um, Omo, we have Coca-Cola, Bonfita, Oluyole competition, Koshari's competition. We were having a lot of competitions back then, you know. And if I could remember too, every time we were going for competition, we used to be come for like at least six months. I remember um, during the um, 1991, Cairo 91, when we were preparing for, for all African games, then we were in camp for like one year. But now things have changed. It is even hard for us to actually be in camp for, for, for three months, you know? So it's, it's very painful. But like I used to tell people, one day is one day. Things go better by the special grace of God. But it comes with hard work, uh, Funke, and you, you, you just mentioned um, competitions, very, very important, because that's what keeps you players in shape. There were a lot of competitions being played back in the day, and people have supported it also. Uh, what were we doing as a country that we could even come for six months, one year before a competition that we're not doing anymore? We need to identify the problems. I'm so sorry. I really don't know what is happening and I don't understand why it is so hard. If it can be easy back then, I think maybe they have to go and ask how it, as, how it was done back then. If I could even remember to, I have to change. You know, I was in school in Lagos State and we were supposed to be to be camping in Quara, Ilori. I had to change my, my school, you know, I had to go to school to finish my education in Quara State. Things were really were very, 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 very good. I remember too back then, table tennis, we, we normally take all the seven gold medals because apart from training, apart from the fact that we even have a lot of good coaches, we had a lot of them, they were every, everywhere. And we have grassroots training. We have a, a lot of good players from every state so you don't really have to rely on only national coaches you know the the, the coaches in different states they are doing their their jobs very very well but then hey, i really i don't know what is happening i know it I gets tiring it, it gets tiring um uh, uh, it really does get tiring uh, you 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 are part of the 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 the, the few uh, female table tennis players that uh, that has done so well. Um, in your time, I could also remember Bosse Kafo. Um, who inspired you? Who used to be your role model when you started playing table tennis? <laughs> hey, 
I used to be tomboy, if I can remember, I just wanted to beat all my seniors back. Okay, maybe I will just take, allow me, Maja Koduni, very, very, very good player, even though I was actually looking up to her too. I just wanted to beat her, so, so to say, I don't think I have anybody, I just want to be the best, I just want to be better than everybody else, and I think I tried, so far, so good. Okay, you've been doing this since, if I'm not wrong, 1988. You came through the cadet system, and you're still relevant. Are you doing it? I guess maybe. I love what I'm doing, and I am still enjoying it. I train hard. I'm very, very disciplined. I just like to, to do the right thing. I don't like anything to disturb me. I'm very, very focused, you know? But like I said, but nowadays, I don't know, things, a lot of things, I allow a lot of things get to me. But then, because Funko Shunaike is still planning to go for the next Olympics, I think I have to continue to be focused and train hard and still continue to enjoy what I'm doing. Okay, so uh, that's good scoop for us. Uh, Funko planning to go to Tokyo 2020. Um, um, <laughs> let's take a look at you, Shagun Toriola. Aaron Quadri, Edem of Fiong. Uh, that's a crop of table tennis players at the moment. Um, but their Biodun also showed good quality and they just concluded Lagos Open. Uh, Funke, from a player's perspective, how can you guys, in your own way, make table tennis in Nigeria shine again? You know, Funke Oshinaiki has got now a foundation, and um, the foundation is just for me to get. Um, Another better me, another better Shogun Toriola, because Funko Shunaike is going to retire one day and is coming very, very soon. And that is why my foundation, we have a foundation right now. And that is one way of me giving back to all the talents we have in Nigeria. We have a lot of them, but it's like, it's rather unfortunate that we don't actually have a lot of people supporting them. They are very, very good. Every time I come to Nigeria, I normally share tears because you can imagine all the players come to meet me. Auntie, you know, we don't have this, we don't have that. What is happening? What is happening, you know? But then, right now, I have a foundation. I just hope that um, I will be able to get some sponsors, some support, uh, corporate body to help me out. Because we actually, my dream is to get back table tennis the way it is used to be, you know? If I, act, if I can be able to actually get like two or three competitions or two or three times um, training program for them in a year, I will be very, very, very happy because we have a lot of players that are better than me. We still have a lot that are better than even Shegun Toriola and Haruno Bodo. But the thing is that they don't have, actually have good training. And good trainings are not enough. They need competition. They need a lot of competition, which is which is not good that they are not have, having it. But like I said, I know with, this is my foundation and something good is going to come out of it by the special grace of God. Okay, we must say thank you so much for your time. All the best with your table tennis career. And uh, you still look like you can win some more titles with the way you're going. All the best, Funke. <laughs> thank you, Austin. Good night.